Hey guys, it's your girl Summer, and I'm back with another video. And follow me if you want to see what I have to say. I don't know. Still working on the intro. So today I'm gonna be going through my top ten fragrance fragrance wish list. I hope my face is not like super greasy. It's gonna be my top ten fragrances that I want for my wish list that I'm ready to purchase. Uh, with an honorable mention. And most of these fragrances can be found at Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus, or Saks Fifth Avenue. Some of them can also be found at Sephora. If you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my notebook or my iPad. First fragrance we have on my list, which would be number... I didn't really put them in any order, actually. There is no 1 through 10, or this is number 10, or whatever the case may be. Um, I do know which one I'm getting immediately next. Um, you know, being that Valentine's Day is Monday, a uh, Tuesday, and today is Sunday. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm getting for Valentine's Day. Uh, and if not, then I'm going to go get it, because that's probably the one that I want immediately next. Um, just because oh, I can't stop thinking about it. So the first fragrance that I'm going to talk about is Musk Therapy. Must Therapy is by Inicio, which is like the sister brand to Perfume de Mario. I don't have anything from Inicio. I'm ready to like step into the brand. And my first scent that I want from them is Must Therapy. So the main accords are citrus, musky, floral, fru fruity, powdery, woody, greens, fresh, spicy, aromatic, and animalic. Animalic. I don't like saying that word. I'm not going to lie. That scent, Must Therapy, is white musk, musk. Black currant, bergamot, mandarin orange, magnolia, white sandalwood, and hedadine. I don't know. He has those notes. Doesn't have top, middle, or end or bottom. I just really like this smell. I love musk. I love vanilla. I love white musk. It's like it's woody, and it does have like that first like citrus smell. But what really for me, what attracts me to that scent is the powdery, fruity citrus. It's like so comfortable. It's something that I just, I need it. Like, I need it. I need it. What did Quavo say? I need it. Yeah, I need it. I feel like it would be like such it a... It would be what I categorize gentle fluidity as. Something I could wear alone, but something I would love to layer, love to have on every day to spice up a fragrance or to tone down the too bright of a fragrance. I feel like it would just be like that perfect scent Ooh. from my pricey side. Uh, I don't expect anything less because Perfumes of Marley is already like $330, $350. So it's, it's in the family. You can find it at Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue. Any show, you know, if you're watching, hey, <laughs> love your stuff. Therapy retails for $370. Second one, then this is the one I hope I'm getting for Valentine's Day. We don't know. We don't know. I might still not know. How about that? So the next fragrance we have, which is the one I hope I'm going to get for Valentine's Day, fingers crossed. I don't know when I'm going to post this video, so I don't know if I'm going to have it or not have it. By the time I post this video. If I have it by the time this video goes live, I will let you guys know. Oh, this is my Starbucks cup of the day. We're drinking orange juice. Blossom Love is from the Fragrance House Homage. I don't have it any homage fragrances which is crazy the main accords are vanilla floral almond fruity powery amber sweet fresh yellow floral and rose everything about this scent i love you hear me everything everything about this scent i love i love vanilla vanilla has always been a main staple for me um, in any house or any price range or any scent that is vanilla, it's probably going to get a pass from me. So I love gentle fluidity. That's why this bottle is like this because it's vanilla in here, baby. I feel like somebody's just stealing you. I have to buy a new one. Before I could afford, you know, designer fragrances or perfumes from Sephora, I was going to Victoria's Secret and I was getting vanilla spray, vanilla body spray. 
I wasn't getting the love swell. I wasn't getting any of that. I was getting vanilla. That was my scent. Vanilla lotion, vanilla bath wash, vanilla spray, vanilla lip gloss. We was just a vanilla baby. So this scent, oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So the top notes are heliotripe and bergamot. And bergamot seems to be so common in so many of these fragrances that I like. Like, I have to love this scent at this point. Amaretto, which is different from me but i guess it's like almond bourbon kind of cherry blossom lang lang rose with those are the middle notes with a base note of vanilla tonka bean suede and amber which is definitely a hit for me this scent i smelled it the other day when i went to go get the mimo paris and the young rose and i smelled it in store for the first time this scent it was it was riveting it was just, ooh. I wish I would have gotten a sample. But I know I want it. I just wasn't ready to purchase it that day. So if I don't get it for Valentine's Day, I'm going to purchase it as my gift to myself. Another gift to myself. <laughs> the Homage Blossom Love is at the same price point as Anishio. It is $370. You can get this um, fragrance at Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom, Saks Fifth Avenue or Bloomingdale's. So I think what I'm gonna do, side is, note, when you order from Bloomingdale's, if you have a Bloomingdale's uh, like points or whatever, you just sign up, you get points for your purchase. So at Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom or Saks, I don't get anything back. But at Bloomingdale's, when a fragrance I like is at Bloomingdale's, I can purchase it and for every $250, I think, or $200 spent, I get 50 points. So I would get the 50 points and it would turn into like $25. So then I can then take that once it accumulates like $100 or $200, I could take that and use that money that I have towards the purchase. We love that. And we love when they have their little sales and it's like triple points. And you could pick any two days out of the year that you want to choose to get triple points. So I could pick my birthday and I could pick Valentine's Day or this day or that day. It doesn't matter. You just pick any two days every year and you get triple points on that day on whatever you purchase. That's a way to like spend your money, but get something back. Um, I used to use it. I would buy like my sunglasses and my fragrances, and then I would save up enough uh, money and like my little, I forgot what you call it, rewards, and I would get a free pair of sunglasses basically. That's my little trick. So the next fragrance is from a house that I do own a fragrance by. It is from, I hope I'm saying it right. Tanzania Terenzi. I could be saying the first part wrong, but hey, who cares? And this fragrance is called Haley. I smelled this fragrance for the first time yesterday and I was so blown back by how it smelled. And I had not smelled any of these. Uh, the way the bottle look is different from the one that I have. I have not smelled any fragrances in these bottles. And I was really shocked because I was like, oh my God, this is amazing this and that's when she told me it's Haley. Haley's main accords is fruity sweet powdery musky tropical vanilla woody fresh green and aromatic we love that we definitely love that and the top notes are passion fruit cassis rose lemon middle notes are peach raspberry floral notes green notes and cinnamon i don't think i have so many fragrances with cinnamon and the base notes is must vanilla woody notes and amber. There we have that must vanilla wood amber, you know, quad note, I'll say. I think every time that's like the base note for a lot of fragrances, it's like nine times out of ten it's a hit for me. Something about the way the the wood and the amber, you know, marinate with that vanilla must frag. Oh, I love that. I love rose, love lemon. I'm a fan of peach. Like, I actually like peaches. And I actually like the way peaches smell. Peaches in a fragrance, I don't think I have too many fragrances that have peach. Maybe one, maybe two. Raspberry, I love. Floral notes, I love. Cinnamon is new for me. Green notes, I, I like. Passion fruit, I know what passion fruit tastes like when I get it from the Spanish restaurants. And I also know what passion fruit tastes like when you bite it. But I like it. I don't, I don't know if it's more the taste or the smell. I don't know. But it works for me. It definitely works for me. Now, this fragrance is definitely the priciest on this list. Not gonna lie. 
This fragrance is $495. It hurt me just to say that. Just to let you guys know. It hurt me just to say that. $495. There is a fragrance on my list from this brand. Not on this list, but just on my fragrance list in general. That is more expensive than that. It's around $560. And... I still haven't bitten the bullet on it. I'm trying to figure out a way where I can like not pay that price. Maybe pay half. Like, I don't know how that's going to work, but we're going to figure it out. If somebody buys this for me, I'll be happy. If someone goes half with me on this fragrance, I'll be happy. Um, I want to see if I can figure out a way to, to, to purchase it. Uh, uh, I don't know. This is probably like at the bottom, number 10, because of the price. Uh. Ugh. It smells so good, so fresh, so airy. It's just like, when I smelled it, I was like, this is something I will wear. Definitely, definitely. This is, I talked about it in another video, and I kind of gave a little breakdown in that video, but I'm going to do it again. This fragrance is Magnetic Wood from The Harmonist. So I already have a Harmonist fragrance, and I have two actually on this list that I want to get. And I do have a sample of this. And the way this fragrance smelled as a sample, it, it just snatched me. It's like, I said it in the other video, it's called Magnetic Wood because it draws you in. It smells so good. It's the right amount of wood, the right amount of citrus, the right amount of me in a bottle. You know what I'm saying? So the main accords are woody, yellow floral, powdery, floral, citrus, aromatic, fruity, balsamic, green, and iris. Not exactly sure what balsamic means. Although I do eat balsamic vinaigrette dressing and I do eat balsamic vinegar and oil on my salads, I don't know if that's a good smell. The notes are Chinese awesome, awesome. The notes are Chinese awesome. The top notes are Chinese os os <laughs> I'm getting so annoyed. The top notes are Chinese osmanthus, osmanthus, bergamot, here we go, that bergamot again, green mandarin, love the citrus, mimosa, I can get that, mastique or lentisk, don't know what that is. It looks like popcorn, but I know that that's not what it is. Maybe it's like a cotton or like a flower or plant or something because I don't know. Oris, Narcissus, with base notes. Oh, sorry. Those are middle notes. With base notes, base... <sighs> I can't talk. With base notes of cedar, sandalwood, vetiver, and guaiac wood. I do not like vetiver. I say this all the time. I do not like vetiver. If it's anything higher than a base note in a scent, I won't buy it. There's something pungent about it to my nose. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's the difference between vetiver and Haitian vetiver, but I do know that I don't like vetiver. Alone in a fragrance? Mm, horrible. To me, personally. But I loved this. It was just like, it's something a man could wear because it has a sweetness it's also something a woman could wear definitely 100 percent unisex in my book i could definitely see a, a guy wearing this and me being attracted to that scent 100 percent. i can also see vice versa me wearing this and um, men being attracted to this scent so i think this is something that if you like you know share fragrances with your boyfriend this is something he would take off of your counter however i'm not sharing anything i don't care if you bought it so yeah Hmm. So all the bottles are 1.7 fluid ounces and it's 250. It says Eau de Parfum and 1.7 ounces is 250. I, I get a gift per purchase. Hmm. You get Moon Glory Scented Bath and Shower Sponge or Yin Transformation Bath and Shower Sponge. Hmm. And then it says the parfum is $320. 
So I'm gonna go with the $320. So our next fragrance can be purchased at Sephora, super affordable, and this is called Wonderland Peony by Floral Street. I was definitely not going to smell this in Sephora. And I was definitely shocked and blown away by the fragrance. Um, it actually made me smell the rest of the fragrances from that house that they had in store. So the main accords, fruity, floral, fresh, sweet, woody, tropical, rose, powdery, caramel, vanilla. There we go with that vanilla, powdery, the rose, the woody, it's everything, it's everything. So the top notes are guava, red berries, and Sicilian lemon, because they're so different. Um, <laughs> the middle note is raspberry bloom, peony, and violet. I like violet, I mean, I like peony, I like raspberry. The base note is cotton candy, vanilla, raisins, woody notes with cedar and vetiver. God damn it, I keep saying I don't like vetiver and it keeps showing up in my fragrances. So what's wrong with me? Did I not like the vetiver from Creed? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This fragrance is amazing. It, I bought the rollerball, not the rollerball, but I bought the travel size spray and it's like such a breath of fresh air and it smells so energetic and enjoyable and it, it it makes me happy it makes me smile when i'm wearing it i wore it to work the other day and even though i was sick and i'm feeling much better today i could actually breathe even though i was sick it was just such a pleasant smell every time i smelled it it genuinely put a smile on my face i'm not gonna lie i was shocked i was it was best 30 dollars i've spent in a while so you can get the full bottle at Anthropology or at Sephora or at Nordstrom. The full bottle is $129 and it's about like this big. Well, you see the picture. The full bottle is $129. You get it at Nordstrom, Sephora, uh, or Anthropology. Um, I got mine at Sephora because you know I want those beauty insider points. But yeah, I always buy the, the travel size sprays and I see how I like it. And then I go from there and purchase the bottle. This fragrance does have over 3,000 reviews on Nordstrom. So you could check out the reviews that people wrote and see for yourself. The next fragrance is also from Sephora and it is inexpensive. It's called Vanilla Milk and it's from the company Ellis Brooklyn. This is like one of Sephora's clean fragrances. I believe so is the Floral Street. So the main accords are vanilla, lactonic, warm, spicy, woody, powdery, cuaco, amber, or cal calco? I don't know. Amber, balsamic, sweet, and musky. The, 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 the scent is in the name. It's vanilla milk. Just imagine what a milky vanilla, like when you get vanilla almond milk, like that kind of like creamy, warm, white hot chocolate kind of vibe. That's, oh, I love it. So the top notes are milk, peony, frangipani, and jasmine. The middle notes is bourbon vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, and the cacao pod. That's how you say it, right? Cacao? Yeah, the cacao pod. And the base notes are benzoin, amorous, sandalwood, and musk. The bourbon vanilla and the Madagascar vanilla? I don't know. The, the bourbon doesn't hit you as like overpowering or like any, like it doesn't smell like what I think bourbon would smell like. It smells like a, I'm thinking back from my memory from when I wore it. That's crazy. Um, it smells like a little spiced up vanilla, like a, like a vanilla, not like a vanilla. The Madagascar vanilla is like vanilla. So together they come and they're like vanilla. Like, oh, uh, and the milk and the peony, even with the frangipani and the jasmine, it's like perfect. It's like you have that perfect florally 
milk smell and then it's wrapped up in vanilla and then at the bottom it has like a woody musky amberish kind of smell or ambery musky wood kind of smell i don't know how to explain it other than like i want to wrap myself up in myself Yes, I want to en envelop into myself. That's how good it, it smells. It smells like a warm place on your favorite day. It doesn't have to be spring, summer, winter. It just smells like a warm, happy place on your favorite day. Yeah. This fragrance is $108 at Sephora. You can also get it at Nordstrom and Free People. Moving on to next on my list. We have Casablanca Lily by Ridu. I already have four, three. I already have three other by Ridu fragrances. And Casablanca Lily is an extract with this uh, brand. So it comes like in a smaller bottle, which I'm not happy about, for more money, which I'm not happy about. And the liquid is like brown. All the extracts are like brown, deep amber, those kind of colors. So the main accords are white, floral, honey, sweet, tuberose, fruity, animalic, floral, and lactonic. The top notes are gardena and plum. I don't think I have a plum fragrance. Or is it peach I don't have? I ah, can't remember. The middle notes are Indian tuberose and carnation. Definitely don't have a carnation, carnation scent. And the base notes is honey and palsander rosewood. I don't even know what that is. Um, I like gardenia and I like tuberose. I like honey, it's like sweet. Casablanca Lily is like a sweet, feminine, long lasting. My friend bought it, so I'm going off of like uh, how it smells on her when, I, when she's wearing it and how it smelled when we smelled it in the store. It's like super sweet. Um, that tuberose gives it like a little, uh, like, uh, how do you say? The tuberose gives it like, uh, a different kind of kick. It kind of kicks the fragrance in a different way. It gives like a little, little twang if that, yeah, that's how, that's what I want to say. The gardenia and the carnation give it like a nice light florally, but it's like a very sweet scent. I think it's like, it's, it's a beautiful scent. It's not overpowering. It's not overbearing. It's not like most extracts where it's like, oh my God, this is a lot to take in. It's like, it's it's beautiful and it's really sweet. And that's what I really like about it. Uh, I'm kind of upset that it's at a high price point, but let's talk about it. <sighs> you can purchase this fragrance on the Buy Redo website, Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom, Bloomingdale, Saks Fifth Avenue, and Bird of Goodman for $300. $35. Normally, a fragrance from By Redo is $280 for the 2.5 milliliter bottle. This is the 1.7. So you're getting half the fragrance and it is less than $100 more, but more than $50. This is one of those somebody else has to purchase because although I love it, it's like Ma, <laughs> ma. But believe me when I tell you, it's like a sweet. It's it, it could definitely be a signature scent. It could definitely be a, a signature scent, and it's very layerable. The next fragrance we're gonna talk about is a little on the less expensive side. I don't even know what expensive it is anymore. And this fragrance is Mango Skin by Wilhelm Perfumery. This uh, fragrance company, I think it's new, and it's new to Neiman Marcus um, at Garden State Plaza. That's how I smelled it. I, I just love mango. I love mango fragrance, smoothies, eating it, you know, the fruits itself, just in general. And I was just walking by, and it said mango skin, and I was just like, if my skin could smell like mangoes, that means I'd be edible by 80% of the population. We want to know what that smells like. Yes, that's what I thought. We want to know what that smells like. Packaging is so pretty and the bottles are so unique and it, it looks more expensive than it is, actually. 
So the main accords are tropical, fruity, sweet, floral, musky, woody, citrus, and terpenic. Don't even know what that is. Okay, so the notes on the website say blackberries, mango, black pepper, wild orris, black lotus, jasmine, patchouli, vanilla, and pink sugar. So when you smell this fragrance, it definitely has like a sweet mango smell. There is a warmth to it. It's not because it gives off like a the, the warmth of skin. So I could kind of see where the black pepper and the vanilla come in. I do like patchouli just as long as it's not overpowering. And in this scent, I don't think that it's overpowering. If you don't like patchouli, you may pick up on it more than I do. The pink sugar, I can definitely see it add to the sweetness of the mango and the blackberries. I could definitely see it adding to that sweetness of the scent. The wild orris and black lotus, I'm not exactly sure I'm supposed to smell from that, but maybe the wild, the black lotus gets like a little more like florally in, in between like a uh, transformation between like the sweet to the warmth of the skin. Yeah. So this fragrance, um, it is $245. You can purchase at Neiman Marcus, at Nordstrom. You can purchase it at Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus. So the next fragrance is a little pricey. A little, a little pricey. However, I smelled it. I do have something from this um, fragrance house. And I have had other fragrances from this fragrance house. And that is Creed. And I smelled the Neroli Sauvage. And I don't know what made me smell it. I like Neroli in my fragrances. I have a few fragrances that have Neroli. And so I thought that I would like it. And baby, I loved it. You hear me? Loved it. The main accords are citrus, fresh, spicy, amber, and aromatic. The notes are bergamot and grapefruit, which grapefruit adds such a tarty, sweet zang, twang to a fragrance that is, I love that. Oh, verbena and neroli as the middle note and ambergris as the base note. This note, a man can, I mean, this fragrance, a man can wear. It's also sweet enough that a woman could wear it. And it's sweet enough that, that it won't smell masculine on me, but it's deep enough that it won't smell too sweet on a man. That's how I feel about this fragrance. It is like, when I smell it, I smell like a sweet, sexy Neroli. I don't know if the bergamot and the grapefruit, they, I'm, I'm guessing the grapefruit adds to the sweetness a little bit and also to the tart and like the, you know, I just, it smells like, if I close my eyes and I had to think of a man who would wear this, it would be a man who cares about himself. It would be a man who is fresh shaven, always has his nails done. And I say that because a lot of men don't have their nails done and nails are dirty and I don't like that. Even if you don't have polish or if you don't get the clear gel, it's okay as long as underneath your nails is not dirty and they're trimmed. That's also nails being done, FYI. This is a man who gets dressed and looks in the mirror and is proud of what he's wearing before he walks out the door. This is also a woman who is like, you know, walks on the wild side a little bit. That like, it's, it's, men will be attracted to this smell on a woman. And it would be like that, that little daring, like, <laughs> like, come to the wild side. Like, but in a sweet way. I don't know if I'm making So this fragrance can be purchased at Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue, and Bloomingdale's, as well as Nordstrom, I'm pretty sure they sell Creed. And uh, this 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 fragrance is four hundred seventy dollars. Yeah, as we all know, Creed is expensive. It's on my list, but it's it's deep down. <laughs> that actually that's actually the priciest thing that goes under the Terenzi, so it's number ten. Terenzi number nine for that price, and then Casablanca Lily is number. Number eight, because that 335 is... Next on our list, we have the other Harmonist, which is Yin Transformation. Yin Transformation is a beautiful fragrance. It's unisex, but it's a beautiful fragrance for females. The main accords, floral, powdery, aquatic, musky, fresh, iris, citrus, woody, rose, and sweet. The aquatic here 
really does something for this fragrance. It's not like a watery skin fragrance. It's just like aquatic as in like fluid and you can smell the marine in a positive way. So it has the top notes are water notes, grapefruit, bergamot, and lemon. You can already see how light they're going. You know what I'm saying? Like how, how delicate and fresh the scent is already going. Then you have in the middle, Orchid, Rose, Hedion, Frisha, and Lang Lang. I hope I'm saying that right. So you see how they're, they're keeping it with the roses and the fresh flowers, like the floral notes just in the middle. And then at the base, you have White Musk, Oris, Sandalwood, and Benzoin. So you see how they're giving the scent some depth, but it's still fresh, it's still clean. It's like, it's something that I would spray directly out of the shower. It's something that in the summertime would definitely like envelop the skin, like heating up on you. It would just release like a cleanliness that you can't really get when you take a bath. Like, you know how you smell clean when you bathe? This is a better than that smell. This is a charismatically fresh and energizing smell. Like something you want to spray you in the morning to get your day going, but it's not overpowering. This is that smell. Like, this is that. It is just, I don't know why I didn't buy it first. Maybe because I got so in love with the moon glory. But this, she is that girl. Don't let nobody tell you she's not because she is that girl. She is, she's 350. I think it's worth the 350 though. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like this is something that is going to be, if you're someone who works in the office or who is in school and sometimes you just need to smell some things like get through the day, this is something you want to smell on yourself so that you kind of like, Whew, okay, like it's one of those fragrances and I think it's beautiful and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And last but not least, we have our honorable mention drum roll. I don't know why I keep doing that, I'm sorry. If you don't like it, I apologize. If you're with the ASMR thing, let me know. I'll make a video tapping on my perfume bottle. The next fragrance is Sunshine by Homage, or Sunshine Woman by Homage. This fragrance is exactly what the title says. Sunshine, that's it. There's the description, Sunshine, in a bottle. You heard it here first, approved. The main accords are fruity, floral, white floral, almond, vanilla, woody, soft, spicy, aromatic, nutty, and sweet. The notes for this fragrance, the top notes are almond, black currant, artemisia. Don't even know what that is. Never seen that plant before. I probably have, actually. It looks very, looks like, looks like arugula. Artemisia, arugula. Yeah, they could be cousins. The middle note is osmanthus. I can only say it when I'm looking at it because I'm doing a syllable. Vanilla, Mongolia, Mongolia, and jasmine. So you have nice, nice floral lined up right there. Then at the bottom, the base notes, you have white tobacco, papyrus, juniper, and, and patchouli. The patchouli and the osmanthus with the jasmine, and I feel like the magnolia. I, I just feel like it's doing something. I cannot explain this fragrance. All I can say is it smells like a bottle of sunshine. Something similar, but still different that I have is Sundays by Redu. Sundays definitely, nope, see Sundays is citrus, but it does have jazz. Sunshine is not citrusy at all. And yet somehow it gives this ball of life. I can't, it's so good. I can't even, like, I can't even express it. <laughs> like, it's like a spicy sunshine. I'm definitely getting that tobacco scent right now. And it's amazing. It's lovely. It's it's a happy scent. It is. I'm getting some of that vanilla. I'm getting that sweet, sweet smell. And then like it's being toned down. As you're smelling it, it's like you're smelling bright light. And then it's toning down to this, this tobacco. It must be the juniper and the, the jasmine, the vanilla. It's like toning it down at the same time. So it's not like, but it's like, baby girl is honorable mention for real. And there you have it. That is my top 10. Oh, wait, I didn't even tell you guys how much homage costs. And you should already know from the other one. It is $360 at Saks Fifth Avenue, Nordstrom, and Neiman Marcus. Thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, tune in, subscribe. If you are subscribed, please click that bell notification so that anytime I make a video, it comes to you.
at your front door right at the top of your phone hey i made a new video guys peace out love